In this chapter, we have seen practical ways of finding the area between the curves and the x-axis. The integral a to b f of x dx provides us with the algebraic area between the plot y is equal to f of x and the x-axis between the boundaries x is equal to a and x is equal to b. This phrase, the algebraic sum of area, is a quite curious one. We saw in certain instances that this algebraic sum of area can go to zero because the area can be positive or negative. But when we talk about area included between the curve and x-axis, it's not the algebraic sum of area that we are talking about. It's the sum of all shaded portion between the plot and the x-axis. In this, we are concerned with only absolute value of area and not their signed values. So you can guess the fact that we need to calculate separate integrals each time the value of the function changes sign. For example, consider area bounded by the curve y is equal to e raised to x, x axis and the lines x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3. As you know, this plot is always positively valued. So we don't need to draw the plot to arrive at the graph since the integral, that's integral a to b f of x dx, will provide us with the area required by applying appropriate limits on the functions in the equation. But imagine a case where we need to find the area between a and b. And the function is positive from a to p and negative from p to b, where p of course lies between a and b. Here, as the integral from p to b turns out to be negative, we should put a negative sign to get the absolute value of our area calculation. So for this particular case, we can arrive at the formula as area is equal to integral a to p f of x dx minus integral p to b f of x dx. So what will be the general form for finding the area between the curve y is equal to f of x x-axis and the abscissas A and B. Since we want the absolute area values for all area sections, it will be the sum of absolute value of areas of shaded regions or formally stating the expression will look something like this. Total area is equal to integral A to B modulus of f of x dx. Now we go to the second possibility of finding the area between the plot x is equal to g of y, y-axis between the ordinates a and b. It would come intuitively to you if you have comprehended the previous case properly. Here, the required area will be integral a to b modulus of g of y dy. Till now, we have seen how to calculate area between a curve and an axis. But we can do one more interesting operation using definite integrals. We can find the area between two curves defined over the same variable and in a particular interval. This has a wide range of applications which you will encounter in your higher studies. But for now, let's see how do we compute this. If f of x is greater than or equal to g of x for x on the closed interval a b, then the area bounded by the curves y is equal to f of x and y is equal to g of x between the abscissas x is equal to a and x is equal to b is be given by integral a to b f of x minus g of x dx. Let's try this out with an example now. 